Good evening. How's everybody today? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> What's happening out there in G-Land? What have I been doing today? You know what I've been doing? Pottering. Doing this and that. Checking plants, doing this. You know, um, I told you the other day, it's been, just lately, it's been raining a lot. A lot, a lot. The sky goes black, the frogs go crazy, and the rain pours. I mean, this morning, I woke up, my bin, which I keep on the road, was halfway across the garden. In fact, almost down the hill. It was empty, so the wind just blew it. The, uh, all over by the birds was soaked everywhere, is puddling and wet. I was like, I think it rained last night. The puddles are all gone. It's just, uh, still drying out, though. And there's a bit of a breeze, so maybe it'll come back again tonight. It's, it's been doing that, just raining out every night, which is fine. But now I've got to cut the grass. So I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, if it doesn't rain tonight, is my strimmer still has that saw blade on. Remember I cut the hedge right back? So it still has that saw blade on. So I've got to do the back of the hedge out the back of the house because it just, you know, I did the roadside, but it, the inside is so so thick it's moving over and pushing itself into the um, mango tree. So, gotta trim that back a little bit. I haven't trimmed the tops of the hedge for a while, and it's really getting out of control. If I have a 12-foot ladder I could stand on, I could just <laughs> start the uh, strimmer up and cut the top with that saw, couldn't I? But I can't get on top with the, the saw the ladder I have. But it's going to be hard to get it back. The height doesn't really matter so much. It's the width. It just gets out of control because it, you know, it just keeps raining and raining and raining and it won't stop. So, you know, you need a day before it can dry before I can put my electric strimmer in it. I can't get it, let it get wet. Otherwise, I'm going to get... <laughs> you know, um, in life, you have these different emotions and feelings. You, uh, when you have lots of people around, you th well, for me, too, lots of people is too much you know one or two people that I can connect with is great and then when you're on your own you think oh great I can be on my own I can do this that and the other but when you have nothing to do and you're on your own you think oh you're the, the subconscious mind the first thing it thinks is I'm lonely I have nothing to do so I see that and I think dude what are you talking about it's okay to be alone, but you don't have to be lonely. And it's okay to have nothing to do and relax. So this is something I'm actually just starting to learn how to do. Sit still, relax, and do nothing. It's, I've never been able to do it before. You know, when you're younger and uh, you have nobody around or nobody to talk to, you think, oh, I'm lonely, I have nobody. I don't think like that. When I'm alone, I actually enjoy, but today I caught myself thinking, the subconscious mind goes, I'm alone and lonely. And I'm like, who's talking that? So I, the, the conscious mind comes back and says, huh? Why do you say that? So I don't know where that come from, but I guess the, the subconscious mind is programmed, isn't it? And you gotta work your way through life. But anyway, that came today and I was like, are you crazy? And then the other thing is, I have nothing to do. I'm like, good, sit still and relax. <laughs> they do. Why do you have to have something to do all the time? Chill out, man. So, have a cup of tea and watch some YouTube. One thing I meant to do today, but I didn't, probably do it tomorrow, is I got another light to put out the back. Um, I couldn't quite decide where to put it. I knew it had to be outside the field of view of the camera so it didn't cause a, uh, like a, a flare, a light flare. So I thought, what to do with it? I didn't want to put it too close to where Sugar has her bed, you know, in the laundry room. Because I didn't want it to attract bugs that would bother her. And then I had a little brainstorm today. It says on the box, it says, no ultraviolet light. Which then means, no bugs. I'm like, oh cool. So I can use that, turn the other light off, which was the bug light. It's actually um, like a slightly yellow light. It, um, 
and it's supposed to send the bugs away but I'll, I'll change that bug that plug out and I'll put the other bulb in so um, no ultraviolet light so it won't attract the bugs but the camera can see which would be great so the back it'll have a backlight that comes on and goes off you know at dawn and dusk and then um, the camera can see into the garden you remember when I cut that big old piece of tree down and it fell and it came all the way down here and knocked this branch of the frangipani off well if you looked I put a, I taped a stick to the branch to hold it up and look what's happening it's still growing it's still healthy the leaves are still growing everything's fine so there's the pump the big tree that goes down to the river and there's the area that's being cleaned now So the idea is clean that big lump out and you can see the river really easy. One of the things that really interests me is uh, building a home on a raft. You know, I've, people said to me many times you could build one here and just uh, tie it to the side of the river. I'm like, you could, but you know, why do I need to do that? But um, if somebody wanted to stay in it, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Just, just dreaming out loud. You know, I've been. Um, there's a place you. There's many places you can go buy them. You can buy brand new ones, or you can buy second-hand ones. Those, uh, what are they? 55 gallon, 200 and some liter drums, plastic drums, and um, you can. There's a places like a uh, near uh, near Angtong. There's a place where you can go buy them. And I think they're a couple hundred baht each. So you, they're not expensive. So you could buy like 20 or something. But I was just wondering, you know, if you wanted to make a room or a small house on it, what would a small house be? You know, how much do you think you need? Would it be like um, 8 foot by 12 foot or something? So if you made like a pontoon with 8 foot by, four, eight foot by 12 foot, so maybe two or three barrels wide and maybe what five or six barrels long so that would be what three by say three by five is 15 barrels but then I thought how much can they actually hold up how much do you uh, like I seen what I seen a video on um, from a guy some guys living in New Zealand they have which looks like quite a big house you know uh, maybe 12 foot wide and 20, 30 feet long, something like hard to say on a video, but it's floating on the blue plastic drums. I'm like, wow, they're about half submerged or a little bit more, but it looks like a real house. You know, it's got walls and furniture and a real kitchen and everything. So it's like, hmm, how cool would that be? So all, the, all this uh, green here grows up you cut it all down about two months later it's back again and just but it's a very hard and time-consuming to do but if you I think if you you know I've had a digger down there before a big old digger drove down there and leveled it all off for me the rivers right there and you just come in here dig a hole about three or four meters wide depending on how big you want it dig down about three meters and I could use the dirt, build the banks up, right? And then it could sit there and float. And then you could tie it off. So if the river goes up or down, it'll just go with, the, go with the river, up and down. If it flooded like it did before and comes right up to the edge of the bank up here, so you just have some separate ropes or something that hold it still so it can't get away from you, you know? And as it goes back down, just put it back in its hole. So. I guess, you know, it could just float there. It doesn't have to go anywhere. It's just up and down. You know, if you, I guess you could put a motor on it and move it up the river a little bit and come back again, but not really necessary if you're just for, for living. But, you know, I also thought if you make a small, small one, maybe um, just a small room, 
you know you could put a little tiny motor on you can't really go anywhere you can go behind you you can go maybe two kilom two kilometers this way you can probably go about three or four kilometers before you hit like a weir so interesting very interesting to live to actually uh, produce something like that to live in or you know I, just an idea I'm not saying I'm doing it I just uh, thinking out loud but the reason I mentioned it was I just wonder if anybody has any experience how much can weight can one container actually support I'm not even sure how to figure all that out what do you think thank you for joining me on a quiet and relaxing day I hope you're all doing well I'm going to sign off and go eat some of my evening meal Look after yourselves, buckets of blessings, rivers of peace, joy, and kindness.